because we have an understanding of each other like that. Exactly. What's understood don't need to be said. Yeah. If it's if it's, if it's really warranting, if what if whatever the situation, the scenario is, if it really warrants a larger conversation, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll 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 break it down. We'll go into it, but. That's a that's a that's when we start actually having a, a bigger dialogue about situations. But you yeah, you do have to be aware. Some people just ain't, man. Some people just naive like that. Like they don't they don't think nothing can happen to them at all, ever. Yeah, some people feel like they 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 truly drank the Kool-Aid and they believe that everything everything's gonna be all right, police gonna rescue them. Yeah. They covered in the blood of Jesus and all yeah. this. Yeah. And some of them some of them think that they they can knock out any motherfucking body too, bro. Yep. And, and, and we know some of them, we know some of them, you know, they, they very loud when they act like that. You like, so, and from what I was told, you know, the loudest motherfucker in the room is usually the, the, the most pussy. And that's not even the true dangerous person in the room. The no. most dangerous person in the room is the one you don't even see coming. Yeah, one motherfucker sitting over in the corner chilling, not worried about nothing, or just watching everything. Back, you know what I mean? back to what I'm saying, like, you never know, man. You could be sitting, like, I, I done been out to bars and clubs where I'm just chilling and I'm watching. And I always, I tell my girl this all the time, like, when we go out, and I don't like going out like that too much now because I just be I just be in my own zone. But I'm always observing, I'm always like watching, especially if she with me because now I'm in protector mode. Yeah, sure. You know what yeah, I'm sure. saying? If it, it, Hell, it could be me and you. If you out and you in my in my space, you out kicking it with me where I invite you to, guess what? I'm your security guard. Yeah. I gotta make sure my guy, I gotta make sure me and my guy have fun, but we get home safe. Like that is the main thing. All the time. And that that goes back to what I'm saying about that idea that you wake up knowing that it's a possibility. You might have to kill somebody, but you go every day praying you don't have to. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't Man, I'm not, I'm, I don't come from the lineage of motherfuckers looking forward to hurting somebody. You know what I'm saying? I try to treat people with respect and I hope people share that same respect with me. But at the same time, I don't, I'm not foolish enough to think that everybody respect me the same. No. And, and the level of respect that you actually have for yourself, for me and for other people in your circle, you can't really have that same level of respect for people out here in this world. Cause right. you, you'll fuck around and, and and hurt somebody because of the way you view things is totally different from the way they do, from the way they do things and the way they view them as well. Like I said, there's people out here that are very naive, man. They think that they can, they think they can just say anything to people. They think they they, they think they're the toughest motherfuckers in the world, and they never ain't never shown nobody that. That's why scammers are so savvy because they pick up on these weaknesses and gaps in people's social skills. You know what I'm saying? You could you could be out at the bar and it could be a dude and a chick. They seem like they're a couple, but they really just a team. Mm -hmm. Working the room. Working the room. And if you're not paying no attention to it, you'll fuck around and get caught because you don't have the social skills to be able to observe and, and pick up on those things. You know what I'm saying? That's why people be out here getting caught up with undercover cops on their little uh, transactions and shit like that. They're not observing. They're not paying attention. It's, shit can go wrong. Shit can go left. You don't even got to be part of that transaction. You could just be with the person that's conducting it. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not really reading the room and you're not observing body language, and I'm telling you, man, we not that far removed from what we used to be. We just social. We more we're socialized into what we are. That's all. And naive naivete is is a crazy thing. Really? I, I, I really be like, even at work, when I listen to certain people have conversations, you're listening to them and you're like, yo, you you have no idea what's really going on here in this world, man. Like there are people out here that are, that prey on you guys. 